Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach Avis, and today on Sip the Tally Films, we're going to take a look at the front seven from the Baltimore Ravens. They did an amazing job um, challenging the Jets up front. Um, you know, they kind of knew Flacco would be in a spot. He's kind of a stationary QB, and they took advantage of it, man. I, I really was impressed with what the front seven did. And let's uh, take a look at what they did Sunday versus the Jets, man. And people are going to say it's the Jets, but I don't care. Whoever they put on the schedule, you got to play them. So you need to try to dominate them, man. And these guys took advantage of that. Roll the intro. Before we continue on, I want to thank all the contributors to the channel. Uh, you see them right on the screen right there. I want you to know you're very much appreciated and thank you for all you do for Sip the Tally Films. Now let's get into the film. All right, here we go. First play. Let's run it, then we'll talk about it and go from there. Mm. All right, two things that stand out on this play for me. The setting of the edge by Justin Houston and Matabike's blow through and come flat down the line. So Houston's going to set the edge and make it difficult for the back to get there to where he got to try to kind of bow around. And in the process of him bowing out, Matabike's going to slant inside and come flat down this line to get the TFL. The key is coming flat because if he goes this way, the back just going to run by him. If he goes this way, he gets caught back, caught back in the rush. Get his explode through your gap, win it, and come flat down the line and, and let the running back kind of turn back to you. But, you know, it kind of worked together because Houston turned it back and turned it back right into Matabike. Let's watch it in motion. You're trying to pull. Look at Houston setting that edge. Got his outside arm free. You got to keep that left arm free if you're on that side. That way, if they try to bounce it, you can release, disengage, and then go get it. But he, got, he set the edge and he pushed the edge back. So not only did he set the edge out here, he said it that way, too. Now, look at Matter BK. Watch Matter BK blow this guy up. Watch. Uh, get out the other way. Now he's going to come flat down that line. Flat down that line. Ended up going right into it because of, him, because of what him and Houston does. Houston sets the edge. The cavalry comes. It's a great job. Now, now Matter BK gets the TFL. But Houston makes this play. Houston makes this play. If Houston gets hooked right here, this cat out the gate. But by him setting that edge and pushing the line of scrimmage back, that's a lot of physicality right there. A lot of physicality, and I like it. Let's go on to the next one. All right, Houston and Matabike out there again. Look like we're OA, and I can't tell who that is in the middle. Washington, maybe. Look at Yoda. Look at Yoda winning his one-on-one -on -one matchups. Look at him. Houston right here. Lock your eyes in on Houston. He's going to win his one-on-one -on -one matchup with, with that guy, whoever the tackle is. Give him a little stutter, which looks like he almost stumbled in that stutter. Go, you're trying to bull rush. And, and kind of succeeds with the bull rush and releases inside. The tackle just keep, keeps going backwards. Tackle just keeps going backwards, backwards, pushing him right into the pocket of the QB, right into the pocket, and then takes an inside move. And because wherever he's trying to throw the ball, I don't know if he's trying to, look like he might be trying to throw it here, but Queen's under that. And we talked about Queen earlier today on Twitter a lot. Queen's under that, so he's in good position. So he got to kind of hold it. And Houston there for the sack. Houston balled out, man. He 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 went went dumb. As the, as the kids say, he went dumb. Which that means good. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. All right, Houston out there again. You got Houston, Campbell, Matabike, Queen, and Owe. And I think this is Malik right here. Got a, a, a blitz from depth from um, Marcus. A blitz from depth. Right through the A-gap. So we sending what? One, two, three. That's five and dropping all the way out. Now, I know we like to disguise stuff and I don't like dropping all the way. 
away drop for the hot route, then he got to kind of, you know, defend that too. But no, he don't defend that. So what is Oway doing? Is he a spy? I know we're not spying Joe Flacco. So I would say Oway cover the flats, but he ain't. He just kind of hanging. But anyway, let's get back to the to them getting out to the QB. <laughs> I, I, we'll, we'll talk about Oway another day. Unless he do something here. So you got that pressure. And the running back picks it up at the last minute, which is good for the running back. Look at look at Houston. Houston here, queen on his edge. Watch those two go to work. And, and Calais Campbell. Just push this whole pocket backwards. Push this, this is the line of scrimmage right here. They five yards deep already. Five yards deep. Now, we know Joe can't run that well. And this is Calais. And so, technically, this is a sack for Calais because Joe don't get back to the line of scrimmage. But let's check his angle. Just comes flat down the line. Now he changes his angle when he realized Joe was out in front of him a little bit. And, you know, he's created a sack because he's the closest one. But, you know, technically it's not a sack. But we're here for the push. Because we don't use, we didn't used to get push up the middle. Which, you know, if we didn't get rushed off the edge, we didn't get anything. But now we're getting pushed up the middle. And this was a created pressure from the free safety. Listen from depth. Playing man behind it. Maybe maybe it's uh, cover one behind it and he's supposed to be this whole player. And because you got a free safety here too. Everybody just locked up. So maybe that's what it is. Let's go to the next one. All right. Personnel wise, we got Owe. Uh, I can't tell. That's Matter BK. And this is like Means. This may be Washington. I can't tell. And look, this look like Malik with Bynes and Queen in. And remember, Malik played a lot out here now. A lot out here. Hmm, I see you, Queen. I see you, Queen. This is one of the plays I put on Twitter earlier, but not from this angle. So he comes up, he comes, whatever, whatever the call is, this guy coming in motion triggers him to come to be the edge guy. Now, I don't know if he originally was going to blitz from that spot anyway or what. But now with him going in motion to make it looks like he's covering that guy because he's going with him. At the last minute, he sneaks up at the line. This guy don't know who to block. He don't know if he's going to block OA or Queen or what. But Queen just gives him a little arm slap. He takes that right arm, slaps it down. Now it's one-on-one -on -one with the back. Watch. This is block destruction, people. This is block destruction. Watch what Queen do to this running back. Mm, get out the way. Now I'm going to get the quarterback. But not to be outdone by Queen, who is this getting his pressure off the other edge? It's like means. Let's look at Means up here. Means with an arm over. And just beat him. Just beat him. Now, the guy kind of runs and by. I think it's a tight end. Tight end kind of runs and by. But that makes Joe step up. And he steps up right into Queen. But look at these two guys. Look at the push they get. Look at Matabike and Washington. Look at, look at Washington push, just pushing the center backwards and getting there. And then Matter BK come on the stunt. We wasn't getting interior pressure like this. It helps that Queen's coming off the edge forcing it, but we wasn't getting pressure like this from the interior guys. Now we got a uh, Matter BK, Matter BK, Campbell, Queen, Oway, and I think Houston. I'll tell you in a minute when he stands up. That is Houston, yes. All right, so let's see what we got. Got a stunt in the middle by Matabike. Ooh. A stunt in the middle by Matabike and uh, Calais Campbell. And Queen just comes in and Superman's the guy. Let's look at this stunt first. So if, with this stunt, Calais is trying to take him and him. Matabike should slow play it, slow play it, loop around and come free. Or attempt to come free. Calais takes both of them. Matabike comes and kind of gets held up. So they, they block it fairly decent. But... Look at the leverage my BK got on the center. Watch him go just straight backwards, straight backwards, straight backwards, straight backwards, right into the quarterback's lap. This is Matter BK here. This is the quarterback trying to throw the ball. With Queen right there. And you got your edge guys trying to get around the edge. We ain't seen none of this last year, man. And if we did, it was a rare occasion. We rarely saw pressure like this up front. 
And again, it's the Jets. It's the Jets. I don't care. We all we can play is who in front of us. I think this is the last one. I think if we if if we got another play after this, it's bonus time. It's overtime. But I think this is the last one. So now we got Houston, Washington. It looks like Urban, and I can't tell who that is. That is who's that slip right there? That's all way. Somebody slip. But look, look, look at the look at the set. Is that Queen off the edge? That's Houston again. Oh, that's that's ninety six. I think that's Washington. The stun helps though. The stun helps. Watch Queen come off his butt. Queen's coming right now. Queen, this is a part that I really forgot to mention a lot. When Queen was blitzing. Even a play early in the game, I saw it live. When he had to come off of different people or like stunts or whatever, he was extremely tight to them to those guys. So like in this case right here, that's that's extremely tight to come off a stunt, which is what you want. That's almost perfect as far as the 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 distance, but you know coming off that stunt, so you don't give this guy a chance to get over, even though he does. And and the, the good old lineman can do it if they see it coming. But to see how right, and I probably should have end zone fuel for this one. Right here, how this this lineman, his shoulders are turned that way. If he didn't see Queen coming and didn't have to react, he never could get his arms or his shoulders turned back that way to block him. But I think he saw him coming and was able to kind of uh, change. So, I mean, he got good feet, too. Whoever that lineman is got good feet. And the back is there helping. But when he came off and stopped helping, because Queen out here wreaking havoc, too. I mean, not Queen. Um, who is this? Houston out here wreaking havoc, too. So 96 just got a free reign to the quarterback. Simply because we Queen with his stunt. Queen with the stunt off, the, basically the double stunt, because he's looping off Houston and Washington. And, he, you know, the lineman gets, sees Queen coming and kind of lets 96 go, and he should have went there. He got the sack. The, now, what should have happened is the lineman should have stayed here in the back, should have picked up Queen. But, you know, because we're doing different stuff, moving, and not just – trying to straight up do one-on-one -on -one pass rush, we actually moving the line and doing games. We get we get stuff like this. This is different. You know, if we wink, you know, if, if you're a dude, you just beat the dude in front of you and then we'll get a sack. Right here, what we've seen so far, the pressure is coming from different areas and if they, it makes the lineman think. That's what it is. It's making them think. It ain't just a mono imano strength versus strength, ego, ego, one-on-one -on -one thing. That You got to play with your eyes as well as, as, well as with your physical attributes let's see if we got another one this might be the last one and yeah, that was the last one so i mean that i mean that's my take on the the front seven man they they balled out queen balled out houston balled out uh matter bk balled out washington means uh all those other guys whoever i left out they they were solid man we had a solid showing up front uh I, and a guy i didn't mention pierce man Pierce is not featured in any of these clips I showed, but Pierce got off. His 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 um energy, his effort was was outstanding for for a guy that size, and he played a ton of snaps too. It's just I can't wait till Travis get back so he don't have to play as many snaps, and both of them guys can be fresh. But um you know like comment subscribe. I appreciate everybody that that came through or coming through now. Uh, I want to say thank you to the these people. They uh had super chats either on the live stream last night or on the live stream during the game. Uh, Yolanda B, Brent Lauren, Suge Knight, Brandon King, uh, Henry Vaughn, Will G, Brandon again, uh, Super Brother, Ro McNeil, uh, Kahin, uh, Kahan, however you say it, I hope I didn't mess that up, uh, Brandon again, and DDSQ. I appreciate you guys for contributing to the channel uh, through Super Chat or Super Sticker. Uh, and this is Coach Evans. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. See you soon. Peace. We'll be right